Kim Jong-un executed his uncle. He was actually the second in command in North Korea. And people are wondering why he actually ended up doing this. There were some reports in indicating that he wasn't uh, honoring Kim Jong-un enough, and in an effort to consolidate his power, Un made the decision to execute him. Now this could actually lead to some serious consequences with China, because his uncle was the person who kind of kept the ties between China and North Korea alive. So China doesn't seem happy with this decision. Um, according to an expert on North Korea, his father and grandfather got rid of a lot of people, but did it in a very quiet manner, not making big news of it. But Un made sure that he made big news of it. So this is kind of like a power move, a power play to consolidate his power. Um, and when it comes to China, um, another North Korean expert says that Beijing won't invite Kim to visit in the short term because Beijing is not happy about some of his policies. And this whole story is <laughs> like killing lots of people. Believable. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I only do it every time, and, and it's already in the graphic that it's unhinged. Uh, okay, uh, but uh, I, I have a unique theory. I have a unique theory. Uh, I think it's his wife. Okay, I, I've been saying this for what? a while, and I think you'll see it. You'll typical see jink. Blame yeah. it on the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. you can accuse me of everything, of everything, but I'm already getting ready a couple of years from now to play the I told you. Okay. So uh, the reason I think it's his wife, is uh, Kim Jong-un's wife that's doing all these power plays, is the first person executed was his ex-girlfriend. Okay? Really? Yeah. And then, they, then she killed half the orchestra that the ex-girlfriend was in, right? And, and then came like a number of executions. And now the uncle, who was very powerful, all of a sudden he goes down. Right, and, and here's part of my theory. The, Kim Jong-un looks like an idiot, okay? <laughs> like, he looks like, oh, what? what's going on? Oh, it's Dennis Rodman! Like, he saw, I'm so psyched, I had his poster up in my dorm room. And he did when he was in Europe, okay? <laughs> and so, and she popped up out of nowhere, and next thing you know, boom, one person goes down and another and another. To me, the critical part was that the ex-girlfriend was the first one killed, <laughs> right? So, uh, I, and I think, I don't know how it's gonna wind up. I, 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 mean, I don't know if you know this, but... Depends on who broke up with who. Because <laughs> a guy, if he's been dumped by his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> well, she, it doesn't look like she's taking any chances, right? <laughs> she's cleaning house. I love how she's like the Cheney figure in North Korea, right? According she, to me. Yeah, according, according to, to you. you. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make clear to everybody, I don't actually know anything. Okay. A lot of artifacts. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know anything because you know North Korea is so closed off. But another thing that's possible is both of them are cold-blooded killers. And, and Kim Jong-un probably did want to show that he is powerful. He's only 30 years old, you know? And, and as a new leader of this you know, dictatorship, he has to find a way to prove that he's just as powerful or just as legitimate as his father was. So that leads me to my second point, which is that I actually got a tiny bit hopeful out of this story which is kind of a weird twist, right? Okay, the, yes. the reason I was hopeful is because he's only 30, and they're making these power plays, whether it's him, his wife, whatever it is, right? When you're 30 and you're not that bright and you haven't had power for a long time and you're tr an insecure guy trying to you know, get your you know, stability around you, et cetera, and show who's boss, a lot of times you'll overreach. And when you overreach, you could lose your head. And if you do, all of a sudden, there's a kind of instability in North Korea that could actually help us. Like maybe in the midst of that instability, you get a Gorbachev kind of guy or a guy who says, hey, you know what? I wouldn't mind taking a cash, cash payout from South Korea or the US to retire at 50 million bucks. Let me resolve this whole thing. Here's all of our nuclear codes or whatever we got. Come on in and opens the gate. And it's a ridiculous oversimplification, right? But you see what I'm saying? So you're saying he's so full of himself, he may reach for the bottom brick on the Jenga tower. Yeah, that's totally possible, right? I and like in fact, that analogy. His, his uncle's name, funny enough, was Jenga. Really? So it all ties <laughs> in together. That's actually not true. That's a grand theory. <laughs> well, you know, there's also that was just a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's Sorry, my name is almost Jenga, so I can say that's that. That's true. Um, there's also this thing called the madman theory of politics, you know, where you uh, outmaneuver your opponents by scaring the crap out of them, making, convincing them that you are crazier than crazy and you cannot be trusted and you don't know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. So it could be that he's not just consolidating his power, but he's consolidating it in the most public way possible. You know, one of the suggestions was that maybe Maybe the uncle was, you know, working on a coup of some kind to unseat yeah. him. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I don't believe it. I know that's it. what they say. Yeah. I, I know that he was a threat in some way to Kim Jong-un, which is a perceived, perceived as threat. a threat. Perceived yeah. threat. 